What's up guys? How y'all doing? It's I Master Earth and I'm here again to share with y'all another video. Guys, this video I intend for it to give you awareness and benefit you because there's a lot of things going on and the people there's a lot of warfare going on and the more you know the better able you'll be able to protect yourself and choose the right choices, you know? So knowledge is power and in this video I intend on giving you power now I want to focus on the spine in this video and I want to talk about a practice that humans are doing that are attacking their spines believe it or not we are attacking ourselves every single day and in this video I'm gonna say why now before I get into the video I'll first like to give you a idea of what's going on um, if you compare a human of today to his ancestors, let's say we compare a human of today with somebody that was living five million years ago. If you compare the body, what you would notice is it's the same human. It's the same heart. It's the same lungs. It's the same kidneys. It's the same organs. But the only striking difference between the human of today and the human of our far ancestors millions of years ago is our spines our spines has declined it has become frail weak small while originally our spines were, was considerably larger than before and a lot of the things that we do cause our spines to become like this and in this video I'm going to share with you one of the things that we do to ourselves that affect our spine. As you can see, oh, this is something that you can find in everybody's house, in everybody's room. People with brothers and sisters, some people even have their own bed. And, you know, this is something that we all have to transcend. This is something that we all have to come back and really think about it. Is this normal? Is this the way nature intended? Well, in this video, let's dive into what this actually is. Now, such a surface doesn't exist in nature. This cushion is very soft. It basically, it doesn't engage my skeletal system. I'm basically using my flesh to support my weight. And this is not how it's supposed to be. Humans was never supposed to sleep on beds. If anything, we were supposed to sleep like this. <laughs> uh, all I'm trying to say is, humans are supposed to sleep on hard surfaces, guys. When you sleep on a cushion, what you're doing to yourself, you're putting all your weight on your flesh, on your skin, on your muscles. And you basically leave your skeleton not engaged now that I'm on the floor all my weight is where is being in my skeleton my skeleton my skeleton is bearing my weight and now my muscles are relaxed there's no tension I'm able to sleep I'm able to let go but if I'm on if I'm on the bed it's the complete opposite my muscles are working while my skeleton it's not even engaged. It's like my skeleton is not even there. Guys, why do we sleep? We sleep to allow our bodies to finally relax. During the day, the way our minds are designed is always keeping us in constant stress. And many people don't take the time out to relax. The only time our bodies get a time to relax is when this guy is gone and that only time is when we sleep, it's when we dream. But here's the thing, guys. They tell you to sleep. They tell you that sleep is important. They tell you to sleep eight hours a day. But see what you're doing to yourself. If I'm sleeping on this soft cushion, once again, my skeleton, my skeleton, my spine is not supporting my weight. It's my muscles. And at night, one of the most important things is circulation you need a free flow of circulation in your body 
And right now, blood can't circulate because why? Instead of my blood vessels being free, it has to carry my weight. It has to be stressed. But if I'm on a hard surface, I'm engaging my spine. I'm allowing there to be a free circulation of energy. Now, here's another thing you need to notice about the bed. And it's not just the bed. It's any type of cushion. Anything that is soft, it basically disengages the skeleton. And you basically, you basically force your body to support itself with its muscles. And it's not supposed to be that way. But here's something that I've noticed. On this planet, everybody you know has a misalignment. And it's so prevalent when they're old. People start to walk like this. They can't even move. They basically walk like zombies. And this is because of years of sleeping on beds, years of being on cushions. When I'm on a bed, believe it or not, you spend hours like this on a bed. And what's going on in my spine? I'm forcing my spine to adopt an unnatural position because my skeleton is no longer supporting it. It has to support itself. So the way your spine counters this surface, it collapses on itself. It collapses here, it collapses here, and you basically, you're basically, you know what I'm saying? Over time, you basically adopt an unnatural alignment. And here's the thing, guys. This is people's lives. After they sleep, they wake up. They get on their two feet. They start walking. Eventually, what happens? They sit down. Let's look at this position. I had a video about this. This position collapses the spine once again. And this supports the misalignment you had from, from, from sleeping on the bed. This supports it. So now I'm sleeping. Uh, I'm, I'm on a chair. This is messing up my spine. I stand up again. I walk around go to work at my job I sit down again and the cycle just continues it's a cycle of misalignments anytime you sit on a cushion anytime you put your body in that position you force your spine to collapse and to misalign now when we sleep circulation is pivotal a lot of people complain a lot of people say that they don't dream no more. They can't dream. One of the biggest reasons why people can't dream is because they're sleeping on an unnatural surface. If you was to sleep outside on the grass, you will dream. But because there's no circulation, because this, because once again, one of the reasons why people sleep is to relax their bodies. Sleeping on a bed goes completely against sleeping, if that's the case. Because if I sleep on a bed, for the whole entire night, my muscles are supporting my weight. And this doesn't allow my body to relax. Now, so I hope you get it. You see what's going on. These things create a misalignment, plus all the things that we do. The foods that we eat, the fact that we don't get vitamin D. All these things slowly wither down the spine and, that, and then you just end up discombobulated. This doesn't happen instantly, it happens gradually. And over years, this happens to everybody you see. So, what I want you to do is take this out your room. You do not need this cough. Take the coffin out your room, okay? And try to get back into sleeping on hard surfaces sleep on surfaces that mimic nature now because of the way society is when you think about it all people really do is stand sit down or they'll lay down and what's happening is all these joints in our bodies are never engaged because we don't move them we don't use them a good thing that you can do is lie on the floor engage yourself do stretch on the floor do what comes natural get that motion going crack all those muscles in your body you see you hear those cracks 
This is because I'm engaging my joints. I'm actually allowing it to do its job. But if I'm if I'm on a cushion, it will be impossible for me to engage these joints this way. This is why you need to return to the hard surface. Stop being scared of being dirty, guys. Get on the floor. Now, a lot of people go to yoga classes. They say, "Man, I feel so I feel I feel so relaxed when I go to yoga." Or they go to some type of therapy. I feel so relaxed. Why do you feel relaxed? It's because most of the time, their ass is on the floor. And when you're on the floor, your skeleton is supporting your weight and your muscles can finally relax. Guys, okay? So, if you want to sleep properly, sleep on a surface as close as possible to nature. Sleep on a hard surface. But get away from cushions. Any type of cushions, run away from it. And another thing you need to know, because of the years of sleeping on beds, right now your spine c could be misaligned. Your, your spine could have a misalignment. And sleeping on the floor might be difficult at first. It might be unnatural. And this is because your spine is used to sleeping on your bed. Your spine is used to being in that unnatural position. So you kind of have to work, you know, a little bit just to get accustomed to a hard surface. And right now, to be honest, I can sleep like this comfortably. It's nothing. It's easy. Trust me. Um, this is exactly the same thing with squatting. Get away from chairs, guys. Avoid cushions. Get used to this. It will save your hips. It will save your spine. It will save you. Stay away from cushions, stay away from seats, stay away from beds. Uh, exactly, guys. Another thing you should know about squatting. People say squatting is so hard. It's, it's terrible for the knees. My legs are not strong enough. You need to understand that squatting isn't even for building strength. Squatting is for relaxation. People, your ancestors were known to squat and sleep especially during the cold seasons so it's not just about laying down you can also squat and sleep sleeping like this is possible try it it's very relaxing for the spine um thank you guys for watching this is just a quick tip please avoid the bed um this is just a idea this is just i'm just bringing awareness to some of the things that we do in our society that is everywhere but it's but it's not of our favor. Another thing I need to tell y'all, guys, when you sleep, the best way to sleep is butt ass naked. Mm -hmm. You need to give your skin time to breathe. You need to give your body the ability to make use of the mechanism known as the skin. There are trillions of pores, just all openings all over my skin that my body uses to disperse of toxins during the night. If I'm on this bullshit, covered like a dead man, <laughs> what's up guys, how I look in my coffin, <laughs> this is kind of, this, this goes against nature, basically, and it's like, you want to sleep, you want your body to regenerate, you want your body to relax, you want your body to grow, but all these things, covers, bed, doesn't allow your body to do that. Now remember guys, Sleeping is very important and we use it as a way to communicate with our higher self, our ancestors. If you want to have dreams, if you want to communicate with your higher self, sleep more naturally. Avoid this. Good night, guys.